guys, welcome to the Oracle of Lilith. My name is Amy and today I'm doing a pick a card all about who has a crush on you. If this is your first time to my channel, hi, hello, how are you? It's so good to have you. I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel and becoming a member of my tribe. If you are a returning subscriber, hey guys, what is up? How are you? It's always good good to connect with your energy and I appreciate you guys being here. Now keep in mind this is a general reading. It's a general session. So just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I do offer personal and private readings and sessions. All that information is down in my description box below. You will find a link to my new website and you will find a page on that website that currently lists all my readings and offerings that I have for you. So now as you see before you below, we have three really cute little butterflies or kind of like sticker butterflies. So those are going to be your psychic linking objects. I'm going to be pulling as I go. And at the end of each group, I'm going to be getting letters and charms. So we're going to be getting some initials of the person who has a crush on you um, and some more details. So uh, let's get into the butterflies and I'm going to show those up close to you. Group one, you are the rainbow butterfly. Group two, you are the black and orange butterfly. Group three, you are the green and pink butterfly. Okay guys, those are your selections. I will insert a little video with some music so you guys can kind of chill out and see which group you're drawn to. If you're drawn to more than one group, there's probably more than one message here for you. And with that said, I'll see you beautiful, magical creatures on the other side. Bye guys. <laughs> There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait Our first time, our first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall drawn to this rainbow butterfly. This is going to be your reading all about who has a crush on you. I'm going to be pulling as I go and at the end I'm going to get letters and charms so we'll find out some initials of your person. I'm going to try to get it to stick. It's a sticker. So there you go. I'm going to stick it on my little my little deer head there. Let's find out who has a crush on you. So let's start off with the archetype deck here. 
we'll get some information about who has a crush on group one. Keep in mind this is a general reading, it's a general session, so just take what resonates here and leave the rest behind. All right, you know what, One, once more, once more. Okay. Okay. Who, I'm feeling this card. Trickster, okay. <laughs> Light attributes, transcending conventions, stuffiness, and predictable behavior. The shadow attribute is manipulating others through duplicity. Okay, so for some of you, what I'm getting with this is, first of all, this may be online, and there may be someone following you under multiple names. They may be talking to you under one name and following you again under another name. I know that sounds weird. Um, also, I'm getting Gemini energy, air energy, Libra, Aquarius, but heavy Gemini. They may have Gemini like in their Mercury, Gemini in Saturn, um, Gemini rising as well. Tell me more. Now, I just want to address something. You picked the rainbow butterfly, and I just want you guys to know that on my channel, I read energy, masculine, feminine energy. I don't read gender, okay, because we're all a blend of different energies of masculine, feminine energy, blending in different forms and whatnot. So uh, I'm very LBGTQ+, pro-human, um, friendly channel. Okay, so I just want you guys to know that. Um, you could be Polly. You, you could be in that community as well. Uh, just take what resonates here, okay? Let's get, I'm going to get three of these because that's what I'm feeling and I do what I feel. <laughs> okay, we have Thief. Oh my, do you already have a partner? Okay, um, Light Attribute. Sheds light on the potential wealth within you that can never be stolen. Uh, shadow attributes, stealing money, creative ideas, affection, or others' powers you think you lack. If you have a partner, they really want to steal you away. There's also this thing about they want to sweep you off your feet. Like they want to steal you away. They want to take you away kind of thing. Um, we have child eternal, light attributes, determination to remain young in body, child child let me read it again child eternal light attributes determination to remain young in body mind and spirit ability to see things with fresh eyes shadow attributes inability to grow up and be responsible extreme dependency on others from physical security okay so I feel like uh, you've got somebody who's young at heart. You may be young at heart. You may mirror each other, but this person likes to have fun. They like to have a good time. Uh, they have a sense of youthfulness about them. A lot of Leos have this. A lot of, you know, some fire signs have this. So Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, but heavy Leo. Like a lot of people who look young have Leo energy. It's that vitality of the sun that kind of brings that through for people. Um, yeah. Yeah. Hang on, where is my, where, okay. I was like, where are my cards? Hang on, I wanna get tarot cards, hang on. Okay, sorry, I thought I brought my tarot cards over here. This is the Tarot of Light. It's one of my favorite new decks. Can you see all those cards? Pretty much, pretty much. Okay, let's get some tarot. Tell me about this person. I wanna know about who has a crush on group one. Um, trickster. That could be a Sagittarius. It could be a Taurus. I'm feeling playful energy. Um, if you talk to this person, you joke around a lot. They have a really good sense of humor. Um, and if you have a partner, I feel like they may be trying anyway um, to get you away from this person. They may not care. Um, yeah, just take what resonates here. Let's get some more information because there could be more than one energy here. Um, you know, yeah, I think I'm feeling more than one. So take what resonates. I'm not reading reversals for this reading. We have the Ten of Cups. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm getting with this card? I'm a bad motherfucker. <laughs>
<laughs> Shut your mouth. Yeah, uh, this person is like really happy, upbeat, Aquarian energy here. Um, and I feel like you make them happy. You may have a really upbeat energy, Aquarian energy again. Um, I feel like this person knows that life is about being happy and uh, when they spend time with you or they see your face this could be online or they see your content if you make tiktoks or whatever um they're really happy like you make them really happy they love your smile um and they love your attitude whether you're happy or sad or whatever you are they love it they they love your attitude okay we have the devil who <laughs> you guys <laughs> but let me tell you about this happy little trickster there's a devilish energy here which is sexuality it's attraction it's heat it's fire, it's passion, very passionate about you. This isn't, this ain't no puppy love. I'm a bad motherfucker and I got it bad for you, babe. <laughs> I think I like this person. This person sounds fun. This person sounds like somebody you would like to hang out with. Um, if you ha are in a relationship, this may be the kind of person that tempts you. Listen, I'm not judging nobody here. Temptation, you know, hey, can be fun, right? It can be fun. I'm not judging no one, no how. Okay, we have the Ace of Pentacles. All right. Wow, look at the intensity. Earth sign, uh, Taurus, Capricorn. I just went blank. Virgo. I don't feel as much Virgo here, though. I feel like Taurus, Capricorn right? They want this new beginning, this new start with you. Okay, let's pull some love cards, shall we? I feel like I'm going to pull like some love messages. Okay, crush of group one, what do you want to tell them? <laughs> okay, I'm hearing like, you're super hot. You're hot when you're funny. Like when you laugh, you're super hot. Um, like the pictures you post are this is online this is definitely online like the pictures you post are really hot i don't think you even realize it there's something about your smile some of you guys have like a crooked smile or a way you smile if you are not online i don't have an online presence this may not resonate for you and you're probably going to need to pick another group okay because this is pretty specific um we have when it comes to matters of the heart honey there is no right or wrong every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love let's get it on <laughs> this one wants to come out forgiveness stop focusing your energy on the past for life is too precious to waste you create your reality by what you think dream and imagine dream about us together i dream about us together oh dude <laughs> So, you know, I've done some 18 plus readings like late night thoughts of you. And I think this energy is in one of those because they're saying like, I have late night thoughts of you. Like late, late night thoughts when ain't no one around but me and your image. <laughs> I'm not saying that. And my, my phalanges. <laughs> if you know what those are then baby you know what i'm talking about i'm trying to keep this 18 not 18 plus i'm trying to keep this pg-13 <laughs> i guess i'm supposed to be doing an 18 plus reading soon so i probably will okay so uh tell me more group about group one's crush this this person has me blushing so i don't know if you guys have had conversations that are like flirty or you know, maybe you've never talked before. Some of you guys may never have talked to this person, okay? But like, there's a lot of like heat here. We have codependence, addictions are affecting your romantic life. Honey, I got some shit going on. <laughs> we have playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to shine. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Okay, so I feel like this person, you know, they got some shit going on. And if you talk to them, you may know. You may not know. It doesn't matter. We're talking about who's crushing on you, not about, like, what they're going through as much. You may be wondering, is this person going to come through? Are they going to come forward? Well, we have honeymoon and playfulness. So they are thinking about you guys, like, 
being together. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. You read between the lines, you know. Okay, tell me more. Tell me more, more playful trickster. Tell me more. If you're in a relationship, though, that may be part of what's keeping them away. Is they're like, they, I want to respect it, but I'm tired. That's why I hear, I want to respect where you're at, but come on. <laughs> we have maturity. See, I want to respect it, but come on. You know they're not right for you. Or is there room for another? <laughs> we have intimacy. Yes, I want this with you. And this is someone, you know, I keep being playful about it because this person's very playful. But I, I think you can't really see those cards. I, I think they really want something very deep with you, very meaningful. OK, but it is fueled by this playful energy, this playful spirit of like, you know, we can be happy and we can be fulfilled together and it can be, it doesn't have to be serious. Maybe you have had a lot of seriousness in your life. Maybe the things you post are about some serious things you're going through. And this person just kind of wants to br bring in like a sense of fun into your life. And they want you to know that like you can have fun, you can have hot sex and you can have love and intensity and all of that. Like, in life like life doesn't have to be super intense and difficult all the time hey whoa that would be fun right sounds fun sounds like a good time <laughs> so hey you know this is a really cool person this is a really cool person tell me more tell me more whoa tell me more we have the hotter the the hottest love has the coldest end yeah for some of you that are in relationships they're waiting for your relationship to end for some of you this person ha i have shit going on i have i'm taking care of some stuff i have complications so right now i'm crushing on you <laughs> because i'm not rushing in i don't want this isn't a hookup for me like i i really like you yeah, I re I hit my hearing. Like I really like you. We have sometimes the strongest people in the morning are the people who cried all night. Yeah, like I'm going through some stuff. I know you've been through some stuff, so you'll understand that I'm going through some stuff. So I just want you to know that like I think you're hot. I think you're amazing. I enjoy uh, your content, your pictures, whatever it is. And uh, I'm hanging around crushing on you hardcore. I have found the one my soul loves, dude. People, I have found the one my soul loves. So for some of you, this person really thinks that they are deeply in love with you. Okay, so it's more, for some of you, it's more than a crush. Okay, um, so, you know, let's get a couple more messages here and then we'll get some initials for you guys. Let's see if we can figure out who this is. Uh, let's see here. We have... Angel number 333, before you love anyone, you have to love yourself first. I feel like that's what this person's working on, and that might be what you're working on, right? You may be working on learning to love yourself more, learning to put up good boundaries uh, in romantic relationships. You may be redefining love for yourself, um, but this person, for some of you, are, are definitely going through that, either you or this person, and that's kind of what has stopped this person from coming forward. Um, you've really caught their eye. They're, they're really interested in you and they would like, this person would like to come forward. Like, that's pretty clear to me. So, all right, group one, let's get you some um, letters and some charms. Okay, group one, these are your letters and your charms. Keep in mind, it's a general reading, so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. These could be your initials, their initials, a name, a word, a screen name, initials of a screen name, just something meaningful, so take what resonates. I will read off the initials to you. We have B G F W P A T C I O L M I D E T N B E Z X T Y S E Jay, you guys know that song, Cake by the Ocean? 
it's like a pop song. Uh, that song is like running through my head. Okay, so that may ha mean something for some of you. Um, just take what resonates here. So we have some shells here. So we have water sign energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, we have this little charm that says, may you always have a shell in your pocket and sand between your toes. You know, I feel this person just has this kind of really cool energy. Like they have, like to have a good time. They like to enjoy life. I feel a little bit of hedonism with them. Like they like to party. Um, I think if you've had a really intense life and have had like a lot of struggle, this person will show you a good time. Okay, this kind of person, and this may be the kind of people that you're starting to attract because you've been through so much and you've healed so much that you're starting to attract people who are like your soul tribe, who are bringing you a different kind of relationship than you've had before. Instead of people who are like down in your frequency of struggle, you're bringing in people who are more elevated into like enjoying life, embracing moments, laughing and having a good time. You may not be used to this. I also feel like this person's like a gift giver as well. Um, they really admire your strength with this witch's hat here. Um, they think there's something very magical about you. I feel like they think you're very protected. You also may be connected to spirits, like you may be psychic as well. Um, and I feel like uh, with the zombie here, I feel like, you know, when I see you, I feel like, I feel like brainless. <laughs> I feel like goo goo gaga. That's what that's literally what I'm hearing. And I never say that. So it's so weird. Um, I get Tara's energy here as well. This person is making me blush with all the psychic impressions that I'm getting. Like, stop it. I don't want to see that shit. Okay. Um, we have the vampire teeth. I get parasitic energy from that a lot, but I'm not getting that from this. What I'm getting from that is that there's something about your mouth. Like they really like your lips, your mouth, and they like want to kiss you. They want to bite like on you. They have like a biting, some of them have like a biting fe fetish or a vampire fetish or something like that. So, hey, you know, uh, we're going to keep this PG-13 as much as possible. So, you know, I guess I'm going to have to like film an 18 plus uh, love reading soon because this keeps coming forward. Um we have a skeleton here and I feel like this person's done a lot of work and has probably done a lot of the same work you have. This person may have a past in addiction. They may have struggled with alcoholism or something like that. And they have maintained a sense of wonder and joy in life, even though they've had to fight their own battles. Um, and they have a really good sense of joy in life. It's like they haven't become bitter because of it. And they appreciate that you have not become bitter of the, because of the things you've been through. So I think you both share that in common. All right, group one, that's what I got for you. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I'd love to have you as a member of my tribe. If you'd like to see more readings like this one, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you beautiful, magical creatures next time. Bye guys. Hey group two, all of you that chose the black and orange butterfly, this is gonna be your reading all about who has a crush on you. So keep in mind, it's a general reading. It's a general session. So just take what resonates here and leave the rest behind. Um, at the end of the session, I'm going to be getting letters and charms. So we'll find out like some initials um, of this person who has a crush on you. So let's find out. Let me get some cards from the archetype deck. Love this deck. If you're a reader, this is a great deck to have. It gives you a lot of hits on the kinds of people, their vibe. Highly recommend. Okay. Give me some energy. That one, and I'm going to get the middle. I think three is a good number. Okay. We have Midas Miser. Light attributes, entrepreneurial or creative ability to turn anything into gold, delights in sharing life's riches. Shadow attributes, hoarding money and emotions, obsessive fear of losing your wealth. Okay, so someone has some resources here. Um, you may be an entrepreneur or they may be an entrepreneur or you may know each other through like small businesses. 
Okay, like small business networking connections. A networker light attributes enhances unity through the sharing of information, engenders social awareness and empathy. Shadow attributes conveys information only for personal gain, spreads fear and falsehood. Okay, I feel like this person, you know them through like a work network or at work or your job or small business or you've met them like having coffee or at some small business coffee or conference, something like that. Monk nun, light attributes. There may be two energies here. Uh, selfless devotion and single-minded dedication to spirit. Shadow attributes, negative judgment of the physical world, excessive piety. Okay, so I'm feeling like Midas Miser is one energy monk nun is another you may have two people who have crushes on you you may have one or the other just take what resonates here okay i'm being drawn to this um dream discernment deck okay so let's shuffle it up a little bit all right tell me more about who has a crush on group two it looks like group two may have two people have crushes or one or the other so tell me about this person I do feel like for a lot of you that this is work related in some way. This person um, is probably has resources. I'm hesitating in saying that they're wealthy. Okay, but they have resources. They've reached some level of success in what they do. Um, I feel they're very driven. Okay, and I feel like they admire your spirit of being driven or being guided. Um, Let's see, we have Summer. Have you noticed someone who, ha who was rude to you is now starting to warm up to you? Interesting energy. So this may be someone when you first met them, you were kind of taken aback by them. You were like, ah, I don't like this person. This, and I think you thought this person, sorry, I'm OCDing about my tablecloth here. Um, you might have thought this person was like cocky or overly confident or like, thought they were too good for the group or for you or something like that. And you were just like, you know what? You may have met him in a, at a bar, like after work too. I'm seeing a bar. Um, and you might've been like, you know what? You're just, I'm seeing a lawyer for some reason, like lawyers, uh, corporations. I'm just seeing a lot of different things, uh, contracts. Um, I'm also seeing like, um, what is that? Not litigation. I'm seeing like, uh, property, probate, law, that kind of thing. Anyway, you may not have liked them at first. It may have been one of those kind of things where you're just like, ugh, really? How can I attract somebody like this? <laughs> yeah. But it's like the more you got to know this person, you were like, well, you know, maybe they're not awful. Maybe they're not hideous, you know? There's like opposites attract situation. We have beach. Did you know that this awkward, difficult situation will make you more confident and become more comfortable? <laughs> I'm feeling that on the monk and nun energy. Okay, let me get one more here. No? This one. Okay. Uh, we have feather. How are you connecting to the higher realms recently? Okay, so maybe it is like this. It's like this. Okay. So I feel like any way you slice this, um, there is a confidence with this person that's brewing as far as the connection goes. And yes, they are a tad bit overly confident, okay? Um, and I know I can feel how much that bothers you. Like they come across as like a little egotistical, a little cocky, um, a little smug. Yeah, I get that. I get that that would be like, you know, we don't need that shit here. We just really don't. Okay, tell me more about that. Okay, we have the five of wands. <laughs> I'm not reading reversals. The five of wands. Yeah, um, I'm just like not into that. I'm not into somebody who thinks they're all that. I could just, I can hear someone like arguing with themselves about this. It's almost like, yeah, like I'm just not into that. Okay, we have the Knight of Wands. There's that cocky energy. I mean, all these wands here. This must be an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Okay, um, and then we have the Ace of Cups. Yeah, they want to offer you something. And I want to say what it is, but 
We're keeping it PG-13. Um, and they have a serious crush on you. And I feel like when they go to work out, because you know they work out a lot, okay? Um, they often focus on you while they're working out. It's like they put all their, like, effort in working out in, into you, like thinking about you. Like when their mind wanders, they're trying to get their mind off of their hard workout. <laughs> Oh, this dude is kind of funny. <laughs> and dude could be any any gender. Okay, this is not a gender. I use dude as a just a general general term here. Okay, tell me more about this crush. Tell me more. I'm seeing someone very dark headed. Not very dark headed. Dark headed. I'm seeing uh, brown eyes, uh, blue eyes, green eyes. So any of those colors. Um, I'm seeing someone who's relatively tall, uh, five eight or up. I'm five three. So anyone above like five five is tall to me. Okay. So um, I'm seeing someone who's very well put together. They present very well. Uh, they're very driven. With all this one's energy, how could they not be driven? Um, and I feel like they're used to getting what they want. And they know that when you guys first met, that you were not impressed. You were not having that. And that set them on a kind of um, reset. <laughs> we have spiritual maturity yeah see i feel like you expect this you expect this and that's why you got this monk nun energy this elevated energy with this other person which you can't really see this card but you have this elevated energy with this other person who has a crush on you because they're appealing to that higher frequency that you carry because you are driven you are about getting that bag but you also are very spiritual. You're also like, you probably meditate, you probably have a spiritual practice, or uh, you practice some kinds of like, um, some kind of mental discipline where you like do law of attraction or something. Um, because this person, they appreciate your spiritual maturity. Like they want to grow with someone who is their spiritual equal. And I feel like that's you too. And this person has a crush on you. Like they, they want to get to know you more. Uh, they feel like you guys are highly compatible. Okay. That's how the monk nun feels. Okay. That's how this highly spiritual person feels. Now it's almost like there's two like completely different energies, you know? Um, and I feel like with this, uh, networker here, uh, who's very focused on the physical, I feel like one thing you're doing is causing this almost like player energy to pause and be like, oh, you know, my normal shit isn't going to work. Like, huh, when has it not ever worked? <laughs> oh, man, you, you've got yourself. Um, I'm going to pull from a different deck. Uh, you've got yourself someone who just they really think they're all that. And the thing is, listen, it's just you and me here. Okay. They kind of do have it going on, don't they? It's all right. You don't have to admit it, okay? You don't have to like their attitude or their confidence. But deep down, where nobody knows, it's kind of attractive. It's okay. I won't tell anybody, okay? But I, I you know, it is. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, free yourself. Boom. Boom. Free yourself. That's what I'm feeling from this person. Like, free yourself so we can go out. Free yourself from judging me. <laughs> the more you resist this person that has a crush on you, the more they want it. They want you. You're not an it. You're a you, right? The more they want to go out with you, the more they want to be around you. It's like, it's like opposites attract. You know, it, it, it could be like this person's an Aries and you're a Libra. It's like that kind of thing on your natal chart. Cause that's how you find your divine counterparts. You're, you're opposite on the Zodiac, right? So yeah, let's keep going. I'm going to pull some more cards from this person. We have separation time apart from your partners on the horizon. Yeah. You guys are, y'all aren't together for sure. Okay. In fact, I feel like you're just like. I hate like this person. <laughs> I don't like them. 
but yet I kind of do, but I don't want anybody to know. So that's part of the separation energy. It's like, I'm not okay with liking this person. It, it, it ruffles my feathers. Give me one more card here. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Yeah. So there's passion. There's a lot of passionate energy from this person here. They think a lot about you, especially when they're working out, whatever that means. Okay. So tell me about this monk nun, this high frequency love here, um, who I feel like for some of you who this high frequency love resonates, I feel like your higher selves are talking to each other. It's like in the astral realm, you're like going, hey, I have a crush on you. Remember me. It's like you're having dreams about each other. Remember me when I when you see me or I pop up on your page or whatever. Because I feel like this one could be in life, like real life. Not that online isn't real life. Like online or it could be like in person. So just take what resonates here. If it's in person, I feel like nature is involved in some way. But that's not necessarily true for all of you. Okay. No reversals. We have the Five of Cups. Ah, you know what I'm getting? It's like this person ran across you during a time when you're like grieving, when you were like going through some really serious stuff. And you really didn't notice this person. I think this person may have like had a conversation with you or, you know, said some nice things to you, maybe some up uplifting words, but they really didn't go too deep into it because you're like, you were grieving, you were experiencing loss. There was a lot of uh, regret. Um, there was a lot of sense of being alone um, and you weren't really ready because in a normal, not normal, in the traditional five of cups, there's like three, there's like a dude with like two cups behind them and like three cups in front of them that are spilt. And the dude is looking at the three of cups that is spilt over. Um, and I feel like, I just feel like you didn't catch it. You didn't catch this person. You didn't catch on. This person tried to, but they also knew that you were going through a lot. And they were just like, you know, they believe in the divine timing, probably like you do. And they were just like, you know what? I'm just not going to push it right now. I'm just not. This person's going through something. They may have gotten tarot readings on you as well. We have the six of swords. Yeah. And now I feel like here's your heart your heart with the six of swords and you're moving, you're moving on. You're still, still got issues. Those six of swords are still in that heart, man. You're still carrying it with you, but you're moving forward. You're healing. You're on your healing journey. So they're seeing you healing and it's like they're coming through this reading because they want you to know, oh, I have a crush on you. Definitely have a crush on you. And I want you to know I'm here. I'm here for you. Um, and I feel like feathers with this card, feathers, like finding feathers are going to be a sign of this person. Like you're going to get like energetic signs that this person is around because they are, for many of you, they're connected to your higher self. Like you're dreaming about each other. This is, and if you're single, this is definite. Okay. Like if you're single, because you know, not everybody who, some people who have partners watch these videos. I had a comment one time that says, well, people who have partners don't watch videos like this, like love readings and stuff. That's not true. Sometimes when you watch a love reading, you get information about the person you're with. So just saying. But anyway, but feathers can very much be a sign of uh, your person here. Also butterflies. It's a butterfly reading. So, okay. Tell me more about this person. Tell me more. Okay, we have the three of wands. Yeah. So they're waiting for the right time. They're waiting for divine timing to come forward. Okay. There's something about like they're thinking about taking you out to eat. I keep hearing like cafeteria. I don't know what that means. That won't resonate for all of you. It may be they know you in life and they like are, are trying to like meet you in the cafeteria or they meet you over food or, or something like that or take you out to eat or something. That won't resonate for all of you, okay? Um, but for some of you, I feel like 
they know they want to come forward. Like they're ready to come forward. Okay. They are just literally, literally waiting on the right time with the Six of Swords. They're waiting for you. The traditional Six of Swords is a dude and another, like a chick. I don't mean that disrespectfully. Okay. This is just labels. Okay. Uh, in a boat uh, with some swords, with Six of Swords, and they are paddling across like a river to the other shore you see the shore in um the distance and they're they're paddling towards it like they're moving towards the other the new land land ho kind of thing uh, so they're moving on and i feel like this energy is waiting for you to get to the other shore and for some of you they're they're making sure that like if you've had a breakup that the breakup is done like you're alone in the boat with your swords. Okay. Um, so yeah, there's a, there's a timing. There's a timing thing going on here for you in this. Let's keep going here. I want you to clarify further for me. Crush number two for group two. You got, you're giving me three cards. No reversals. Okay. Oh, we got, we got a lot of cards actually. Okay. We have the three of cups. All right. So you bring this person a lot of joy. Um, and sometimes we don't realize how much happiness we bring people um, in everyday life. Like um, sometimes, and for some of you, this could be someone who like brings you coffee or just does has done little things for you while you've been going through something really big, like grieving something, and they've just done little things and maybe you've thought it was just friendly um but this person actually has like a serious crush on you um we have the six of pentacles yeah i i feel like this and we have six six here i feel like this person's trying to manifest a connection if you don't know them in life and this is online they're trying to manifest a timing where they can come in and you will be more receptive okay um Let's keep going here. We have the Ace of Wands. And I'm talking a lot about the spirituality here of this person. However, your spiritual connection. However, uh, the Ace of Wands is a I'm sprung for you card. I got it. I got it bad, baby. I got it bad for you. Um, we have the Ten of Swords. Yeah, they're waiting for you to be done with this grieving cycle, with this sorrow, whatever this was that you were going through, they're waiting for that. It could be the ending of a relationship, could be a divorce, could be you uh, opening up to new people, whatever this is, but they got their eye on you and they definitely want to come forward. Um, I do think they may be a little intimidated, so just keep that in mind. And we have the moon. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I'm feeling like there is, for some of you, there is a deep connection between you two that is going on in dream time. Like your higher selves are trying to bring you guys together. Like, hey, hey, you may dream about flying or birds or swans um, or swimming in water. Again, feathers could be a sign of this person as well. Okay. Let, oops. Okay, you guys, let's get you some letters and some charms. I just noticed this other card over here, and we have the Queen of Cups. All right, so this is a deep emotional healing connection. This person has a lot of deep feelings for you, um, and I feel like they have a lot of intuitive uh, energies as well. This person could be psychic. They could be highly empathic, and while you were going through all this stuff, they felt a lot of what you were going through like intuitively or empathically and that's why they didn't come forward because they felt like you know they didn't want to put more pressure on you or be improper that kind of thing so just keep that in mind all right let's get into your letters and your charms okay group two these are your letters and your charms keep in mind it's a general reading so just take what resonates these could be your initials their initials a screen name a work name something meaningful just take what resonates here now uh, i just want to point out that i heard while i was putting these letters together i'm the shit. <laughs> that's the first 
cocky energy saying, I'm the shit. Like, you want this. It's almost like this person sells things. I can see why they would be like an entrepreneur or own a business or be in marketing or something like that or sell expensive cars or something or property or be a lawyer or whatever this is because I feel like this person's like, I'm the shit. Like, I am it. Like, you want this. It's like they're trying to sell themselves. It's really interesting. Okay, let me read off the letters for you. We have PDG. Q L X E N O L K J B Y M N C T E S H T O. All right, we have a couple of stars here. I'm a superstar. That cocky dude is just <laughs> really, really coming in strong. They may be a Taurus here. Um, we have the witch's hat here. That's power. We have the money. Um, Want, they want you to know that they're abundant. That's the first energy. Um, and then I have this other energy, the more um, high frequency energy that's talking about love. Like this could be love for us. Um, and we have three hearts here. And I'm feeling like for some of you, this is the, the second energy coming in and saying, you know, I feel like we could have a family together. Like we could have a future together. We could either have children together or we could have pets together, or we could build a business together. Like, we could go to the next level together. I feel like we have a very deep soul connection if, if everything works out right. Like, if I can get the timing right. This person's hung up on timing, okay? Um, and it may be a little bit of a block for them. Okay, we have the devil here. So they may be sabotaging themselves a little bit when it comes to you. So, you know, if you want this person to come in, you know, you could, uh, you might be able to do some things if you know who this is to make it a little easier. You might be able to let them know that you're open for a relationship, like you're open um, for that. Now, the devil with the cocky person, the overly confident person, um, they have a very high sex drive. Okay. Um, and uh, they want you to know that. They also want you to know, <laughs> I'm just telling you, oh my gosh, I don't want to know this stuff. Okay. Um, they just want you to know that they're very kinky and they're dominant. Okay. If you're into that, that won't resonate for all of you, but for some of you, you already know. Um, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay. So yeah. All right, group two. That's what I got for you. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I'd love to have you as a member of my tribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, give me a thumbs up and I will see you beautiful, magical creatures next time. Bye guys. Hey, group three, you are the pink and green butterfly. We're going to find out who has a crush on you. So keep in mind, this is a general reading. It's a general session. So just take what resonates here and leave the rest behind. I will be getting letters and charms at the end of the reading. So we'll find out uh, some initials or maybe a screen name or something of the person who has a crush on you or people. Group two, there was a couple of energies there. All right, so it's important that you just take what resonates here and leave the rest behind, okay? So tell me about group three. Who has a crush on group three? We have judge. Balancing justice and compassion, managing the fair, distribution of power, shadow attributes, offering only destructive criticism, misusing business, legal, or criminal authority. Okay, so you can have a Libra sign, a Libra sign, an air sign here, a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Also, this person could be in law enforcement. They could be a lawyer. They could be a probation officer. They could do something where they have some authority. They could be management. They could be upper management. They could be a boss. So just take what resonates here. I feel like taking this card, Rebel. Light attributes, challenges authority to affect social change, rejects spiritual systems uh, that do not serve inner needs. The shadow attribute is rejects legitimate authority out of anger, rebels out of peer pressure or fashion. Well, here, it's two pretty opposite, <laughs> pretty opposite energies. So I would say there's two people, there's two energies here uh, for sure. So uh, let's pull a third 
Okay, we have Detective. This is so interesting. Um, we have light attributes, great powers of observation and intuition, desire to seek out truth, shadow attributes, voyeurism, and falsifying information. So I think you have like someone secretly watching you like a secret admirer. I did a secret admirer uh, reading recently. Uh, I, I'll try to put this up in the corner somewhere so you can see that one if you want, but um, it feels like someone's watching you. So you could have a couple of energies here. So it's important that you take what resonates here. What, what feels good to you? What feels right? Okay, so um, let's get some more information. Okay, I'm gonna pull from the Dream Discernment deck here. This is a really great deck. I've gotten some really cool and powerful psychic hits from this deck. So, yeah. Okay, tell me more about those people who have a crush on my group three, this beautiful pink and green butterfly. I feel like you have really, um, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> That's a lot. Okay, let's try it again. I feel like you have... Um, very uh, healing energy. I think you draw people to you um, with this natural aura. I think you may have some green in your aura as well and pink. Uh, I think you have a very loving nature. Uh, I think you're very kind and compassionate, uh, but I do think you have a fiery temper. Okay, give me, give me like three cards. Okay, that's the first one. Okay, we have Storm. Have you had a loss, okay, have you had a loss, shock, or struggle that you are bottling up? Okay. This one flipped. We have toilet. Are you needing to let go of unexpected feelings, people who caused you pain? Okay, so I'm getting this is your energy. Like, you're really going through it. You've been going through it. We have Peacock. Are you beginning to feel pride in yourself and your purpose? So you've been going through, like, almost like a phoenixing process yourself where you've had to let go of a lot of people, places, and things that don't serve you. Um, and uh, you've cut out a lot of bullshit, literally, with the toilet here in your life. You've let a lot of people who were not good to you go. I feel like because of your healing, compassionate nature, because of your kind nature, I feel like you've probably been taken advantage of a lot and you've reached a point in your life where you're like, you know what, I'm not doing this anymore. Like, I'm not ripping my heart open for people so they understand me. I'm not going out of my way for people anymore. I'm not bending over backwards anymore. If someone wants me, they're going to have to come towards me. It's like you're standing your ground. And these energies find that so attractive. It's a level of confidence. Even though you may not feel like completely confident, like in the way you look or whatever, there's confidence in knowing your worth and knowing like, that the way you've been treated in the past is not how you want your future to be. Like you, I think you've reached a point where you're like, I don't want to be with the people like my past partners. Like I don't want to repeat that. Even if you're in a partnership, you may be re- defining like what you want in, re in a relationship. And you may be thinking, you know, this person that I'm with may not be for me. Um, or you may be finding that they are actually your person. So just take what resonates here. But this crush energy is very attracted to your strong sense of self, to your sense of knowing that you are worth more. You could still be very much working on yourself. Like, you know, the storm, the toilet, all this energy is like heavy. Um, it speaks of releasing that which no longer serves. Um, it also speaks of someone who's been used a lot um, and like put on the back burner, um, not been a priority to people. And you're ready for people who are going to make you a priority. Like I feel like for you, like the person watching you who hasn't stepped forward, I think for some of you, you're immediate, you're immediately like, you know what, if they're not going to come forward, then I don't care. Like if they're not going to make me enough a priority to come forward, then I don't care if they're watching me. I don't, I don't give a shit if they're a, a secret admirer. All, I, what matters is what people do. And it's because you've been treated so poorly. And this rubble energy, it could be your energy. Okay, you could be the one that has all this, you know, rebellious energy. And it's not rebellious like being the rubble. It's like rebellious like I'm not taking 
this shit from anyone anymore. I'm going to get a few cards from one of my new decks. I forgot the name of this deck. I'm sorry, but it has some really interesting messages in it. Um, and I'm feeling that for you, group three. I just feel like group three, you've been through so much. And I feel like these people who are watching you, they're just like, they're in awe of your ability to stand strong in your power. Um, and that you're very compassionate. You're still very kind, even though you've been treated so roughly. Um, and I feel like in love, you haven't been super, super lucky in love. I feel like if you've been married, you probably haven't had the best relationships. You may have stayed in relationships too long or marriages in too long. Or you may be in a marriage right now that may have played out and you're trying to figure out how to get out of it. Keep your word. Something so right about that. <laughs> keep your word. Something so right about that. So for you, keeping your word is very important. Um, and these energies, the, this, this crush energy knows that what you say, you mean. Like you mean the things you say. You don't play around. You don't play games with people. Um, and you're not interested in being around people who play games. You may be very blunt and to the point sometimes, uh, to the point where sometimes like at work um, or in relationships, people might say, oh, you're rude or you're nasty or you're mean. But you're not really trying to be that way. You're just trying to be a straight shooter. And um, when you say something, you mean it. And if you change your mind, you tell people. Like you are just, you don't hide stuff anymore. You've learned that hiding how you feel, staying voiceless gets you nowhere. It gets you used, abused, and thrown away. And you're not about that anymore. Awaken to the tiny, beautiful things at every fucking turn. Embrace your tiny inner Buddha. So we have awaken to tiny, to tiny beautiful things at every turn. And it's surrounded by crystals. And then we have embrace your tiny inner Buddha. That's what you've done. I think because so many things have not worked out for you, you have learned to take joy in the little things. Like you enjoy the moments. That is so powerful when you learn to take joy in everyday life. Like you're not the kind of person that's waiting for Saturday to enjoy your life, like work a hard week and then on Saturday you're going to enjoy life. Like because of whatever this heavy shit you've been through, uh, this process you've been through, I think that you try to make the most of every day. And for this energy that has a crush on you, that's very impressive. I feel like you're so unique to these people, uh, this person. They've never seen anyone quite like you who it's almost like you take time every day to like have moments of fun moments you enjoy, moments of peace. I feel like you protect your peace at all costs. You do not put up with noisy bullshit from people. Okay. So let's get, let's get like some love messages, shall we? I mean, we know you're a fighter. We know you've been through it. We know you're feisty. <laughs> I'm getting like, I'm hearing someone say like, you're a hot pepper. You're a hot little pepper. <laughs> you're a hot little number. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you're short. Are you? Hey, I'm short. Are you short? I'm five three. So, whatever. <laughs> okay. So let's get some love messages. Okay, crushes. Tell me how you feel about group three. Tell me. Tell me what you have to say here. We have wedding. The situation involves marriage. Okay, so there may be somebody here who thinks about like wanting to marry you, and you guys may be going like, hey, 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 hey. Like, I don't even want to hear that shit. You may be kind of sour about marriage. And I don't mean like, you know, bitter, but just like marriage. You may have a thing about conventional marriage. Maybe your marriage isn't good or you've had bad marriages or you've never believed really in marriage and you're just not real cool with it. Um, or the idea of getting married is unnerving to you. Um, and, but there is energy here that like, they want traditional marriage. They want like, I don't say mean traditional, like traditional, like roles. I mean like a traditional wedding. Like they want to have like a certificate kind of thing. They want to like legally bind you to them. Boy, that sounds fun, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. I get, I get your energy about like marriage is, uh, you know, 
And I feel like you either have children or you don't want to have kids. So you feel like, why would I want to marry somebody? Okay, we have true love. Yeah, there's somebody here who feels like you're it. Like you're their true love. I feel like whoever this is who has these serious vibes for you are going to have to like prove themselves. And here's the thing. They know it. They know they're going to have to prove themselves. And you know what? They're okay with that. They wouldn't be presenting in this reading if they, they weren't. Um, yeah, this person, this is more than one of these people feels more than crush energy here. And they're coming through very strong. They're coming through probably more than the other energies. So take what resonates. It feels like the judge energy. We have unconditional love. Uh, there's not enough unrequented love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep the relationship going. Okay, this feels like the detective. This feels like the person who's watching you, they think that you won't be interested in them. Point blank period. They think that you, they're not good enough for you. They won't, they won't be able to give you what you want in life. Okay. Um, and you know what? I mean, you have, you have your standards and that's okay. It's okay for you to know what you want and expect to get what you want out of life. You shouldn't have to lower your standards for anybody. And you would, would you want to be with somebody who felt like they had to lower their standards to be with you? No. So you wouldn't want to do that to somebody else either. Right. So I feel like the secret admirer energy probably I mean, some of them may come forward, but for the most part, I just don't feel like they feel good enough. And I feel like that's not going to change anytime soon. In fact, that might get, be getting worse um, than better. We have beware of what you are projecting. The qualities you admire in another are the qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. Okay, so be aware of the energy that you're projecting out to other people. Okay, I know I understand this kind of like, because I feel like your energy can be read as a little bit aggressive. That's not a bad thing. But I know that there are a lot of like masculine energies that might find it hard to work with because it feels like a feminine energy that is balanced in their masculinity. masculinity. And that can be difficult for masculine energies to deal with because they're not used to that. Uh, a feminine energy that's balanced in their masculine, masculine energies, they know what they want. Uh, they know how to go get it. They have boundaries. Um, and they don't, they tend to not waste a lot of time on uh, people, places, and things that don't uh, fulfill them in some kind of way. Um, and it's not an equal give and take. Like they don't spend time in toxic relationships. So if they sniff out any toxicity, they're gone. They're out. Um, and that's, you know, that can be difficult. Not for all masculine energies, but for some. Okay, for some. Okay. We have soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. Okay, so judge energy here. I feel like they feel like they're your soulmate. So this person feels like they're in love with you like all the way, all the way in love with you. So I want to find out like, what's the dealio? Uh, what, I mean, are they going to approach you? Have they approached you? Do you know, what's the deal? Cause I, I, I'm not sure about contact here. Do you know this person? Have you talked to this person? I, I'm hearing like some of you have, but not much. So there hasn't been a lot of contact. Uh, we have strength here. You could be a Leo. They could be a Leo. Leo keeps showing up in these readings. Leo. Also, you're very strong. They admire your strength. It's almost like they're wanting to talk about you. And they don't, don't want to talk about, like, am I coming forward? Hmm. I wonder what that's about. Tell me more. Clarify this. Tell me more about this. I want to know. No reversals. We have the King of Cups. Okay, and we have the Queen of Swords. Okay. 
So for some of you, there is a third party involved. You knew it had to be something, didn't you? Yeah, there's a third party here. So they could be going through a divorce. They could have like a girlfriend. They could have a child with someone. But there's definitely another energy here. And I feel like there's a lot of like, clarify the relationship with the King of Cups. The King of Cups is a water sign. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Uh, the Queen of Swords is going to be an air sign. That's Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Clar clarified this um, this relationship here. There's been a lot of harsh words said. We have the Knight of Swords, a lot of aggressive interaction, a lot of fighting, a lot of harsh words. Um, it's been toxic. We have the Eight of Cups here. Um, yeah, they, they're not together. If they are together, it's, it's not healthy. Um, and I feel like it's almost like, and I don't like this label, but they almost feel like this is like a false twin that they fell for or something like that. Like they thought this was the one, but this is not the one. And they feel like you could be the one. Okay, just take what resonates here. Okay, tell me more. Okay, and we have the nine of swords. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of worry and grief around this connection. Okay, so that's why they don't really want to talk about when, if they're going to come forward. Okay, because they have this other shit going on and it's with a queen of swords. It's with an air sign. I am a Libra and I can tell you that a queen of swords energy has a vicious tongue. They can be very cruel. They can be um, fighting with the queen of swords is, you know, it's just like it sounds. <laughs> okay, uh, we can have vicious tongues, you know, and I think this, uh, I feel like this, uh, King of Cups energy feels a little beaten up by it and is just not quite ready. And this person has a marriage on their mind. Like they're looking for someone to spend their life with. I feel like this relationship hasn't been good for a while. So it's not like it just ended abruptly. But there's a lot of worry and grief here with the Nine of Swords. There's a lot of like money issues or there may be children involved and things like that. So I don't see this person coming forward like anytime soon. All right. And the secret admirer, they, they don't feel like they're good enough. And I don't feel like that's going to change anytime soon. And honestly, I feel like for group three, I don't feel like you guys would be really super interested in a secret admirer because I feel like you're very real. You're in this very real, authentic energy. And I feel like uh, you're at that place where you're like, if you can't come forward and show me who you are, then I don't give a fuck. Point blank period. I don't give a fuck. Like be real or be gone. That's how I'm feeling. All right, guys, let's get you some letters and some charms. Hey, group three, here is your letters and your charms. Now keep in mind, it's a general reading, so just take what resonates here. Uh, this could be your initials, your, your uh, person who has a crush on you, their initials. Uh, it could be a screen name. Uh, it could be something meaningful. Just take what resonates. We have D-H-F-Y-Z-Y-V-L-R-K-A-F-N-L-G-E-O-B-C-T-U-P-B-E-C. All right. Okay, so we have shells again. So I'm, I'm feeling like water sign energy. Uh, with that Cancer Pisces Scorpio. We have a lot of star energy here as well, faith, hope, and love. Um, I'm also feeling inspiration as well. I think you're very inspiring in general to people. When people know your story, I also feel like you're very guarded. So when people find out about you, like the things you've been through, I feel like uh, people find you very inspiring. Um, I do feel like this one energy that has a crush on you that's dealing with like, some issues uh there's issues with where they live like there may be they may be dealing with like a settlement a divorce settlement they may be trying to find a place to live they may be working on like affording a place to live um a custody kind of thing selling a house right now that kind of stuff so um we have fey energy here we have a, i think this is a fairy yeah you uh may be aligned with fairy energy or fey energy um 
we have a cat here. Uh, Leo showing up again. I think Leo has shown up quite a bit today in my reading. So sometimes that happens. I can't pick up the cat. Okay. We have a skull. We have another cat. Uh, we have a web. We have a key. Um, I have the heart with the nurse's hat. And I feel like spirit's coming forward and saying, you need to take care of yourself. And it's okay for you to have something for yourself. I feel like, group three, that you need to open up to love. Maybe you haven't been super receptive to love and you just need to open up to it, okay? It's it's time. You deserve it, okay? Um, and these may not be the people that you want to open up to, but you are starting to really attract people to you. So it's time for you to start thinking about it. Think about what you want, okay? Um, I feel like you're very intuitive and uh, following your intuition and making decisions through your intuition is really going to help you align with people who will make you feel safer. I feel like you may have a lack, a feeling of a lack of safety in general in relationships. You may not feel emotionally safe with people and you put up these very strong boundaries and you're very straightforward with people because it helps you feel safe. It helps you feel secure. And um, I feel like there's a need here to uh, kind of soften to love, that it's okay to be soft and emotional with someone. And I know it's hard. I feel a little bit like you're locked up. Um, and it's time for you to allow yourself to like open up to love. And that can be through self-care. You can do that through that mechanism first, right? Before you ever open up to anyone else, okay? Um, yeah, that's what I got for you, group three. I hope this resonated. If it did, please leave me a comment down below. I would love to hear from you guys. I hope you have a most beautiful day. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I'd love to have you as a member of my tribe. If you'd like to see more readings like this one, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you beautiful, magical creatures next time. Bye, guys.